Hello friends, so the other day I was out doing some yard work, working the land, so to speak, even though I don't really have any land, just a little plot of dirt next to my front door. So really, I wasn't working the land so much as I was making a mini vegetable garden. Anyway, it was good to get outside a little bit and take a break from sitting in front of my computer making etymology videos. Also, I'm not particularly dexterous, so planting a vegetable garden is pretty much all the handiwork I think I'm able to handle. And fortunately, in my case, my garden is so small that I really just have room for a few tomatoes, two, maybe three carrots, and of course, an eggplant. Although if it includes all of those, then it would be pretty close quarters. Anyway, I've been told that to be a successful gardener, you have to plant vegetables in fertile soil. And to fertilize that soil, it helps to, among other things, fill it with an organic fertilizer, like compost, or when available, manure. So anyway, I was out working the land with my hands, planting my vegetables, and fertilizing the soil with some compost. Now, believe it or not, I didn't have any manure readily available, so for now, I wasn't using any. But I was thinking about how manure begins with the same three letters as the word mano, which in Spanish means hand. Hmm, that seems like too close of a match to just be some random coincidence, right? Well, yes, as it turns out, the words mano and manure go hand in hand, so to speak. The Spanish mano is a descendant of the Latin manus, which also meant hand. And so, if you combine that word with the Latin verb operare, or to work, then you get mano operare, which logically meant to work with your hands, or to do manual labor. Okay, well, what does all that have to do with manure, you might ask? Well, over time, the verb manu operare evolved into the old French verb manoeuvre, and then into maneuver, a word which we might recognize. And then, finally, from there we eventually got the English word manure, which originally was a verb meaning to work the land manually, and to cultivate. And, to be clear, it could also be used metaphorically, as is the case in some of these examples here. So, for example, you could cultivate and enrich your mental faculties, or, for that matter, the people sitting next to you, by manuring them. Hmm, I feel like that wouldn't go over too well if you tried to do that nowadays. But so anyway, going back to the more literal definition, when you cultivate land by manuring it, so to speak, well, you fill it with fertilizer, which, back in the day, was mostly organic. So basically, what do you get when you manure land? That's right, manure, the noun, and all the fertility and productivity that comes with it. So there you go, the origin story of manure. And it's important to remember that manure as it is used today, might not make everything around it more fertile. Apparently, the whole fertility part only works if you put it in soil. And, as I learned, if you mix it around in other surfaces, results might vary considerably, and not in a good way. Hmm, good to know. Still, despite its limitations, among other benefits, thanks to its ability to turn a small, desolate plot of land into a wondrous vegetable garden full of life and nutrients, it is still definitely, and quite literally, a handy tool indeed. Thanks for watching.